Welcome back to Cover Slaves. We Hello. Haven't, hey. We haven't really done a show in a couple weeks, but we're back. So uh, today we're going to do a uh, 3,000 point battle with four 1,500 point lists. Uh, with me as always is... Anubis, Jason, and... Uh, Andrew. It's actually been a while since I've been here. What's your name on DACA though, is it Andalus? On DACA? Oh, Andalus. Andalus. Yes. Crabbles with Ben. Yeah. So uh, it was really going to be a four-player game, but Clarence had to drop because he has Sunstroke or something. God so. Drinking in the sun. Uh, so we had to kind of scramble. It's September. <laughs> exactly, right? Like, it's those warm <laughs> September months of uh, we all remember. Uh, Jay doing, uh, what, two Tau lists, right? Two Tau Empire lists, 1,500 points each. God damn it. We're doing two Marine lists. <laughs> I got normal Marines. You got uh, Space Wolves. Space Wolves. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we're doing six objectives. I think we're going to lock it down to, like, a turn, what do you guys think, five or six endings, something like that? I'm okay with five. Yeah, I'm fine with five. Okay, so we're locked down to five turns. We know it's ending on turn five. Most just because it's going to take us eight hours anyway to fucking play. Because that's, that's, that's it. That's <laughs> it. Uh, we all have to sleep sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back with our armies and the uh, discussion of terrain and objective placement and all that shit. Uh, thanks for watching. So well, here is my uh, 1,500 points worth of Space Wolves. Uh, here I got an Iron Priest uh, with a Force Axe. He has... Uh, Master of Ambush, because why not? Uh, I've got five units of Grey Hunters, all in Rhinos, with no extra equipment, really. Uh, oh, he has a Melta Bomb as well. I should mention that. Um, I have two units of Thunderwolves. Uh, both are being led by an Iron Priest on Thunderwolf. Uh, this squad has a Power Fist and uh, two Close Combo Weapons, and the two Close Combo Weapon guys have Storm Shields. In this unit, they all have storm shields. One has a close combat weapon. This one has a thunder hammer, and he has a wolf claw. And last, I have two vindicators with two storm bolters on them, and uh, no siege uh, shields on them. Okay. We got a fifteen hundred point count as ultramarine list here, using my death watch as always because I'm cheap. Starting up front here, we have my Librarian, who has a Power Axe and an Auspex. And uh, his Warlord trait is, uh, I can't remember the name, uh, it's the one that gives out rending like candy there. Storm of Fire. Storm of fire. Uh, moving on, we got four troop choices here, one, two, three, four. Uh, those are just attack squads, and each one has a Grav Cannon, uh, because I'm cynical. Uh, moving on, we have no troop over here, which is a, a scout uh, unit, with uh, close combat weapons, bolt pistols. Uh, the leader, I think, has a uh, mouth bomb, and they're in a storm. And in front of them is a Thunderfire Cannon. Uh, not much else to say about that. Uh, over here, we have uh, two uh, Forge World Count as Vindicator uh, Dimos Pattern Tank Destroyers, which are awesome, and they've got Dozer Blades and uh, Storm Bolters. Uh, next to them, we have the Assault Centurions. Uh, the Sergeant has the Omniscope. And they'll be going in a fast attack pod with a locator beacon. And next to them is an ironclad dreadnought who I've given the chain fist upgrade to. He also has a melt the gun uh, heavy flamer. And he's in a pod. And last but certainly not least is a storm talon gunship with scammers. So that is 1500 points of count as ultramarines. Here's my first 1500 point list. Uh, we're going to start with HQ. Uh, this is my Warlord here. He has uh, no Scatter Deep Strike, which is uh, through Boldness Victory, as his Warlord trait. We've got Shadow Sun. This is my secondary HQ. Moving along to Elites, we've got three Crisis Suits with Twin Lake Plasma. And they have the BS2 Overwatch. Uh, okay, going down to Troops, we've got ten Carbine Fire Warriors with EMP and a Devilfish. There's four squads of uh, Fire Warriors with uh, Rifles and EMP. We've got two Piranhas in a squadron here. Uh, we've got two minimum squads of Pathfinders. There's a broadside with uh, all the missiles and interceptor. There's a sky ray with a disruption pod. An ion cannon, a hammerhead with a disruption pod. And finally, uh, the stealth suits down here. Just three stealth suits. This is my second 1500 point Tau uh, army. So we'll start with HQ. There's the warlord for this force. Uh, he's the big suit commander with all the stuff. He's got two fusion blasters and a shield. Uh, he has uh, Master of Ambush as his Warlord trait. Uh, moving down here, we've got two units of Kroot, both identical, uh, ten men strong with uh, six hounds each. There's two individual uh, Tetras here, uh, two individual broadsides, uh, same as before, so they have all the missiles and interceptor. Uh, there's a squad of three crisis suits with uh, twin link missile pods and interceptor. 
two identical riptides. They have feel no pain. They have smart missiles, ion accelerators, and uh, interceptor. Uh, we've got long strike back here in the hammerhead with all the stuff, and we have a barracuda with a disruption pod. And that is it for this army. Usually when we do a 2v2, we do a segment called Battle Plan, so we just kind of go over what our, our overall strategima is. So uh, as you can see, the board is incredibly urban, and uh, I forgot to mention in our intro, but we're using a special rule we came up with for missions called Fear the Flanks. And really all it does is bring it back to the 5th ed way that reserves work for assaults. So if you come in off your board edge normally, and uh, you can assault, or you can outflank and assault. If you're in a transport that doesn't assault vehicle, you can't. If you're deep striking, you still can't. But it opens up some, some nice stuff that Space Wolves are it's more to do. It's more sensible. Yeah, exactly. So what we're going to do, we end up rolling, and we got corners. So we don't know which corner we're in yet. We'll be in one of the four corners. But our basic plan is to... Uh, not get surrounded by Tau. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Andrew, you've got the, the uh, Vanguard uh, Striker. What was it? Uh, uh, Master of Ambush. Master, Master of Ambush. So, you'll have some infiltrators, hopefully. What are you thinking of doing yeah. there? Um, the basic plan for that is Iron Priest, or uh, sorry, uh, Rune Priest to stay on the board. Right. So that way you can use Living Lightning or whatever. Uh, one of the, one of his powers anyway. Whereas he's going to pass it off to three units of Grey Hunters, nice. uh, so we can keep them off the board and outflank them as needed later in the game. Yeah. And also the like I've got five rhinos and two vindicators. If we had them all on the board at the start, chances are some of them are going to get blown up, and then we're just going to get yeah. Like, I, our, our, we're going to get choked. We're not. My gonna my play. biggest fear for us is that we box each other in. Mm -hmm. uh, we play with very very, I say realistic, but somewhat stringent terrain rules so it is very easy to make it so you know you can't move through something if one of our rhinos goes we play those impassables so we can still destroy them but that takes time if we have to blow up our own rhinos to clear a path for the mm -hmm. ones that are alive so i think i'll end up doing um most of the defend work and Andrew will do a lot of the attacking work and i'll support him yeah. with a few special units yeah oh and the other thing too is we were thinking of uh reserving uh the vindicators yes. as well yeah and that would leave only the Thunder Wolves, uh, actually one unit of Thunder Wolves <laughs> on the board. I'm yeah. going to reserve the other one as well as a counterattack unit. Yeah. Uh, and two Rhinos. And, that, and that's what's great about the Fear the Flanks is counterattacks back. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> uh, if Tau wanted to do the No Scatter Deep Strike too close to us, they may be very upset at our counterpunch to that. So, mm -hmm. And that, that's the other nice thing with the Vindicators is that they'll probably survive long enough for his guys to come yeah. in. And then I've got a 30 inch, 30 inches of the board are potential death. And I mean, if he wants to intercept you, he can, but to 13 armor is not going to help. So yeah. he's, he's going to have a hard yeah. time getting, getting, you know, and, what, the, and the cannon is like, what, it's like strength, uh, strength A, AP3 or he, something? He'd only be able to intercept the strength 7, because it's like a blast, otherwise the strength oh. 9. So, or no, he can, you know, he can intercept the strength 9, but he'll have to overheat. Or he's, only, he's only going to, he's gonna, only going to haul point me, though. He's not going to. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he's going to have any luck there, but, uh, so yeah, basically our strategy is just to not get overwhelmed or surrounded because they have moon over ability. And there are six objectives on the board, and we only have five turns, so... And we got a shitload of scoring units. Yeah, so... Well, so do they, but, we can, but ours are hardier. Yes, exactly. And we have more mobile terrain or mobile LOS coverage with our rhinos, so hopefully that makes a difference. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, we'll be back there with the start of the game. I'm sure Jason's going to do his strategy plan, battle plan video. And uh, yeah, then we'll get rolling. Okay, so... This is Jay and Jay's battle plan. Uh, it's just just me because my teammate dropped out. Something something up. I don't know, whatever. So I'm alone on this one. It's just me. So I've got a couple worries. You know, I'm kind of worried about uh, Andalus's uh, thunder cavalry. Um, I think generally what they're going to do is they're going to hit me with drop pods uh, and, and then come at me with the armored assault. So. I don't exactly know where I'm going to be setting up, so, you know, um, general broad strokes is I'm just going to kind of hole up, uh, use my interceptor to try and counter as much of the drop pod nonsense that I can. Um, easier said than done, but, you know, I got the tools for it. Um, I'm going to put a bunch of stuff in reserve. I'm going to try and swing onto the table and do a counterattack, uh, maybe show up behind them. Uh, you know, uh, once they've de devoted enough uh, power to me, they won't be able to stop any units I send back at them. I don't know, rough ideas, right? Um, 
I'm going to be having, uh, you know, a little bit of trouble. Uh, it's just, just me moving my model, so I'm going to have to be a little quicker. So I'm going to have to think about that. I'm also going to have to think about, um, well, you know, really, it, it's a blessing and a curse. Uh, a curse in that, you know, I only have myself. You know, I can't really bounce any ideas off of another person. But the other thing is that I can come up, you know, I can, I'm always going to have a consensus on what I'm going to want to do, right? Because it's just me. Um, so generally, uh, I think sticking to a corner uh, near the beginning, like I said, and then moving out, uh, if, the, if the area is clear, if I've destroyed enough of, of, of Crabbleworth's uh, uh, drop pods and stuff, I'm going to have to worry about outflankers, I'm going to have to worry about infiltrators. Um, it's going to be a tough battle. It's going to be tough. Um, generally, I'm hoping that the crisis suit unit that's deep striking can cause enough mayhem later in the game to really shake things up, maybe throw things, throw a wrench into what they're doing, and maybe uh, you know help me near the end, claim some objectives or something. But uh, I think really reserves are gonna really carry the day here today. Um, I'm gonna have to deploy very carefully, and I'm going to have to really you know, commit to whatever it is I decide to do. Um, you know, there's not much more to say to that. I mean, but the general idea is I'm going to outflank with the crude. You know, I'll infiltrate the Riptides, um, the missile crisis team. You know, uh, I'll probably throw most of the gunships in reserve. I don't know, I might throw the Sky Ray on. I, I'm not really sure. Um, it's going to be tricky because he's got drop melter. So, you know, I really got to play it safe. Um, they don't have much in the way of an answer for the fire, which is good. I'm hoping that's going to really throw a monkey wrench into things too later on. But yeah, you know, we're just hoping that Tau, uh, Tau Trickery and uh, all that other bullshit will carry the day, you know? Um, yeah, not much more to say really uh, other than that, you know, broad strokes again. Gonna try and pull up, gonna try and withstand the drop pod assault. If I can get through that, I should have enough time to deal with the rhinos. You know, all great in theory, but plants never survive first contact with the enemy, so who knows, right? So, yeah, that's pretty much my battle plan. We'll see you in the next clip. Well, we rolled off for deployment and uh, we ended up with corners, which was interesting. <laughs> and uh, then uh, we ended up with uh, deploy first, so yeah. we've deployed first. And I've chosen to go first, but we haven't in seized the initiative yet. So, <laughs> so we'll see if Jay steals the dish. Um, Andrew, why don't you start with your stuff over there? Okay, uh, here I've got uh, two rhinos. This one has grey hunters in it. Uh, the grey hunters from this one have decided to deploy over here and hopefully go after one of the objectives over here. Uh, I've got Thunderwolves here, I decided to put both Iron Priests to them uh, for a bit of troll lol. Lol, so lol, lol. We'll see how that goes with them. And uh, then I outflanked with, or sorry, infiltrated with two Rhinos that have Grey Hunters in them. And my Warlord, the Rune Priest, has infiltrated over here as well. Nice. For me, uh, I've got my 40 units with the Grav Cannons. So I've got one here, two in here. I've reinforced this building with uh, the what you call it, the tech priest tech bullshit priest. there. <laughs> uh, so it's going to give a 3 plus cover to the guys in it. Um, back over behind here, I've got my Thunderfire Cannon, and my HQ is kind of babysitting that. We're afraid of uh, crude out flanking and assaulting. Then I've got the uh, Dimos Powder and Care Tank Destroyer here, and another one here, just kind of covering some decent fire lanes. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we'll go yeah. and talk and about What about reserves? everything else yeah. is in reserves? Cute senses, bitch! This is town deployment. I'm going to start in the back here. So we got Long Strike, chilling with the Sky Ray, with the two Tetras, with, so basically all my armor sort of sitting in the back here. Got my Iron Cannon Hammerhead there. Got a broadside here. There's a broadside hunkered down there. We've got another broadside here. We've got a squad of four Pathfinders there. The other squad of four is over here. We've got the Commander who infiltrated, infiltrated over here. We've got a devilfish chilling in the front here. We got three of the missile suits. They also infiltrated there, and then of course we've got the two riptides. They're chilling right there. 
That is, oh yes, and I almost forgot, we got the three stealth suits over here, the little commando team, they infiltrated as well. Okay, so that's it for my deployment, we'll talk about reserves. These are my reserves, we're going to start off with these two crew units here, they are outflanking. Moving right along, we've got a unit of piranhas, they're just in normal reserve, as well as these four squads of fire warriors, and the barracuda. Finally, we've got the squad of battle suits with Shadow Sun, and the commander is deep striking. That's it for my reserves. Here we go. I'm gonna steal the initiative. Try. It's gonna happen! Uh, hey! Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> it's the end of Space Marines, uh... Space Wolves. Coalition of... Battle Brothers. Battle Brothers. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm turn one, starting over here. This drop pod arrived turn one, and uh, these Assault Centurions got out. Uh, didn't manage to do anything to Jay's uh, very stealth stealth suits. Jay intercepted a bunch of stuff and caused a, a wound on this uh, Assault Centurion. Uh, moving down, I guess, uh, we have some troops behind here that Andrew moved up. Yeah, they just moved up to the edge so of the building. Uh, along there. Group of, a tactical squad and a uh, Greyhunter squad in there. My guys moved up a bit here. Um, this guy took uh, some pot shots way over here at Jay's crisis suits, killing one, and they actually failed the leadership test and ran. So they're there. Um, your uh, yeah, my guys. thunder wolves moved up and went around here a little bit. They haven't been able to assault or anything yet, but uh, they're just maneuvering at the moment. My units in here. One of them tried to run, rolling one inch, so I just kind of chilled. Uh, that vindicator moved twelve from over there and popped smoke. Uh, oh, here I've had a bunch of rhinos moving up. Uh, this the empty one has moved up and flatted out. This one has moved here, uh, blocked the door, and then disembarked a squad of Grey Hunters, which shot at uh, Jay's commander, uh, doing a grand total of zero wounds. Uh, and this other rhino here also uh, disembarked the squad here. Uh, they fired at the commander, did zero wounds, and then because uh, it hadn't moved when it disembarked them, it was able to move up and put some cover on them by flat outing. And uh, last rhino uh, moved over here and is now occupying the space near this objective with my room priest who's chilling out in the corner there. My guys up here ran a little bit just to get a better orientation. My uh, librarian who's underneath them in the building just moved and ran to go block this door off and hide. And uh, the thunder fire really was the only thing that fired, so it fired way over yonder targeting the head of Jay's Riptide, but it scattered up here and actually put another hit on those guys, which I think Jay saved. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Yeah, so uh, that's scared him, though. pretty much yep. it for our turn. Uh, it's going okay. We got a lot of reserves, and so is Jay. We'll see you at the end of Tau right. Turn 1. To the end of Tau Turn 1, I will start right here. So the Devilfish kind of moved up. Snap fired with his burst cannon, miraculously killing the Melta Gunner that was threatening it. Motherfucker. Commander moved forward, destroyed the Rhino, getting first blood, and backed off back here. Tetra moved forward with the Pathfinders. They all used their marker lights on this unit. Basically, every marker light in my army tried to light up that. That includes the Sky Ray and the other guys. I uh, got about four there. They all, all of the, uh, so the Riptide. Both Riptides and the Ion Cannon tried to fire on them. Negligible effect. Uh, yeah, two wounds. Yeah, two wounds, so that's something anyway. Uh, we got uh, some shots from the broadsides. I believe one did one? One, one wound? I think so. Um, on the, on the uh, Thunderwolf Cavalry. So that covers pretty much everything. Long Strike back here took a shot. Bam! And fired at this Laser Vindicator, causing a shaken result and one hull point. Uh, moving on over here, the stealth suits combined uh, their firepower with some other lucky shots. So I think, oh yeah, the the missile crisis suits who rallied, fired a shot, even when they're snap firing, managed to get three hits and did a, a, a the last one to the uh, assault centurion, causing them to flee off the table, which was unprecedented and fantastic. The stealth suits moved around uh, in front of the church. And I believe that is it for all my uh, stuff for the first turn. So we'll see you at the end of Space Marine Turn 2. That is the end of Battle Brothers Turn 2. Turn 2. Uh, starting down here. So 
This came in from reserve and shot at the stealth suits and didn't hurt it. Yeah. And the Vindicators came in from reserve as well. They shot at the Ion Head, but they it, it jinked and managed to cover for both shots, surprisingly. Uh, my Ironclad disembarked out of here and uh, it shot at a uh, Crimson, or sorry, Crisis Suit Squad and killed one. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Thunder Wolves came in and they destroyed the last guy. Like, I only had to roll for one guy's attacks. We only got one inch for Consolidate, so. Yeah. And the uh, Stealth Suits as well. Uh, I assaulted them with a Grey Hunter Squad and did nothing. And they actually almost beat me in combat. I got, like <laughs> four wounds. I got four wounds on me, but I managed to save them all, luckily. No casualties, so that continues. Uh, over here, my unit that's in this building fired at uh, two drones that were there, killing them. Uh, this Vindicator uh, tank destroyer thing, it, it had the snap fire, but it still managed to get, I think, a wound on that Riptide. So that was good. Uh, moving on. These guys just kind of chilled. I don't think they had a target, so they chilled. My leader moved out from inside this building, and he's just chilling back here. Uh, those guys got out, I guess. Uh, yeah, the Grey Hunters here disembarked, and now they're kind of camping inside this building here with the Librarian, or the Room Priest, getting ready for the next turn. Let's see what happens. Uh, over here, this tank just moved up. It's kind of blocking the this entrance for these guys, and they're holding out in the building. I threw a crack grenade at the Devilfish, hoping to do something, but it did not work out for me. While these guys fired their plasma gun at it as well, and unfortunately did not do anything as well. Um, other stuff came in on the flank. We had uh, this rhino full of grey hunters yeah. there, and then yeah. my guys there. Yeah, they uh, disembarked over here to go up to uh, Long Dick or Long Strike, <laughs> and uh, they got shot with a bunch of interceptor fire. But luckily, my melty gun was the only survivor, and he managed to pass his morale check. And uh, he fired at Long Strike, but he didn't do any damage. He managed to jink the shot. My guys, uh, they disembarked, obviously, because I'll move six. They threw a crack grenade, which didn't do anything, and then they charged, doing uh, three glances, which eventually took him down. And again, the reason we can charge out of the flanks is because of the Fear of the Flanks special rule we're, we're playing with. So yeah, uh, killing... Forge in the narrative! Oh, the narrative! Killing Long Strike was the highlight of my turn. What was the highlight of your turn? Uh, <laughs> that managed to get I move them into there without killing anyone. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're uh, we're anxiously awaiting all of uh, Jason's tower reserves to come in. We'll see what happens there. But so far, a good turn too, right? Yeah, I'd say so. It could have been could have been better. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. We'll see at the end of uh, tower turn two. This is the end of tower turn two. So we're gonna start back here. So you might see the long strike is missing. Well, that's because the wreck was continued was assaulted in my turn. Because these guys were still next to it, they took it out, blew it up. He tried to blow up some of my guys, but it didn't hurt anybody, not even his own guys. So it's just gone. Moving along, the Sky Ray just sat still and fired all of its missiles and marker lights into this squad. I believe it did like one yeah, or something. Yeah, I don't know. If, I think he passed all his uh, involve saves. Uh, did you do the Pathfinders? Lit up that unit as well as the Tetras. So again, all the marker lights on them. The Riptides, again, kind of flubbed with their ion accelerators. Uh, this guy overheated, didn't take a wound. This guy missed a six inch shot when it flew wide. Didn't Hit kill him my stuff. So, Hit one you know, guy, didn't kill him. Hit one guy, yeah, it didn't kill him. Um, did do a wound though? Uh, no, he didn't, yeah, okay. Okay, uh, Fire Warriors back here, dumped out of the Devilfish and using one of the marker light hits. Hose down the squad, I believe, doing like two wounds or one wound or something killed like that. Killed one guy. Killed yeah, one guy. I think they killed one guy. Yeah, okay. Uh, they passed their ping test, so they're still good to go. Um, the broadsides here fired at the scouts, and this broadside fired at them. I don't believe any of Might them my did anything. I think no. I, oh, I killed your melty gun guy back yeah. here. Yes. Okay, uh, and these drones moved to engage the scouts. Didn't get anybody. Um, Okay, so that's it for this quadrant. So we'll move over here. Oh yes. Uh, well, here let's let's head back over here. So Mr. Ion Cannon Hammerhead, he sat still uh, and fired. He was jinking. I used the marker lights to increase his ballistic skill to negligible effect. I think no, smart he missiles. Killed, he killed two. Oh yes, he got lucky smart missile rolls. Yeah. So so he helped out there. 
Moving along, the stealth suits are somehow still alive fighting this squad. They haven't taken any casualties. I don't know what's going on with them, but they're awesome. They're probably my MVP right now. So that combat is still ongoing. They actually managed to win that fight, although he passed with uh, double ones for his leadership, but pretty fantastic for Tao, so that's pretty cool. Moving along over here, the commander fired his fusion blasters into this rhino. He passed his cover saves. He got a 10-inch boost and jumped over the wall here. And then <laughs> finally over here, Possibly the most interesting thing of the turn was the crew outflanked and using our Fear of the Flanks rule assaulted the Thunderfire Cannon that was here, somehow miraculously causing enough <laughs> wounds to make him uh, fail his uh, 2 plus uh, armor save. And yeah, so that is pretty cool. Um, that is basically the end of uh, Tau turn 2. So we'll see you at the end of Space Marine turn 2. Oh, it is the end of Battle Brothers. Turn, turn 3, not 2. Uh, starting down here. Uh, why don't you start the videos? Uh, Vindicators, originally they were both pointing this way. I decided to swing them both into a different angle. Uh, this one uh, it was originally going to shoot at the iron ion head here, but when it was destroyed, I ended up firing at this broadside here, and he passed uh, a ridiculous cover save. <laughs> um, the Thunderwolf here, uh, I moved a whole new squad of them in from reserves, but they got shot with a shitload of interceptor fire, and I rolled terrible for my saves. So uh, two of them died, and leaving me with this lone survivor who luckily managed to pass his leadership check, check at least. Um, moving over here, uh, the combat that won't end. The combat that won't end. I managed to actually get a kill this time. So now we're down to two stealth suits and four gray hunters. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't manage to sweep them or anything. Uh, here, the other Vindicator fired this way, and uh, all I managed to destroy here was the uh, tanker truck, which cleared the way for my troops, but unfortunately, uh, the Thunderwolf here was going to attack a uh, uh, Riptide, but unfortunately, I failed my charge. Um, leave it to you, then. My plane, which was back here, flew up 18, targeted Jay's Devilfish, but uh, unfortunately didn't manage to damage it. Uh, later it was charged and killed there. Uh, these guys, I don't think they shot anything, or what would they shot? I don't. No. I don't think they did. Uh, he, I believe, put a wound on Jay's Riptide back in over there. Um, both of the units that are up here fired all that they could at Jay's leader, and I think it caused a wound or two. Uh, two? Yeah, I think he had one or two wounds anyway. Oh, I did one, you did the other, I think. <laughs> From a crack grenade, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the Vindicator that was here uh, fired down the lane and took out Jay's hammerhead that was there, the iron hammerhead, so that was good. Uh, my leader, who was uh, back over here, did... You got uh, seven wounds on the Psychic Shriek. Yeah, he did Terrify, and then he did Shriek, so there's the crew running away on account of that. He then shot them and took one more crew out for the good measure. These guys moved a bit to support, but they didn't really do anything. Um, uh, Rhino didn't. It moved here. here. Yeah. It moved here to block them off in case they started to retreat, and that did work. Uh, Room Priest over here, he cast uh, Tempest Wrath on the commander, and it worked. And he also did Living Lightning, and uh, I hit him a couple times. And unfortunately, I did not cause a wound. But uh, inside here. Uh, my Grey Hunter squad charged the commander, and neither of us caused any wounds, but at least I've held him down for a turn, so he's not going to be able to fight back very well. Uh, here, the Thunderwolf charged the uh, Devilfish. It was immobilized from someone's fire earlier. Actually, that was what happened here. These yes, guys actually yeah, they fired a grav gun, which immobilized him. Yeah. Uh, and then it allowed me to get in there and just destroy it with uh, rending chainsaw attacks. Uh, over here, uh, these guys fired their bolter and plasma gun, and the rhino did it to them as well, but I only got two kills with the plasma gun, and now everything else just bounced off. My ironclad that you're seeing where he is, he, he actually charged a riptide that was where he is currently, killed him, and then moved four inches consolidation. Uh, my scouts back here charged uh, Jay's Tetra there and blew it up, and my storm drove almost point blank, into the sky ray firing its uh, heavy bolt there, but it was snap firing, so it didn't do anything. So, uh, oh, and your, your rhino, I think, he, shot, he shot the, the tetra, tetra. didn't do anything. 
So overall, uh, a pretty good turn. Yeah, for um, Marines, but unfortunately, he has like half his army coming in. Oh yeah, the, this is not over. Yeah, this is just beginning. It's far from over. We'll see it's you just beginning. It's ten o'clock at night. See you at the end of <laughs> tab turn three. So this is the end of tab turn three. I have brought some reserves on. So shh, we're gonna start over here. We've got some fire warriors that moved on. This squad moved in and assaulted this uh, rhino. Took it out with EMP grenades. These guys, they uh, actually sorry, they came on last turn. They uh, shot up some scouts and then the drones assaulted them. There's only one scout, and one drone left, so that's kind of cool. The scout actually dropped a grenade on the tetra next to them and blew up the his buddy, but also one of the other drones. That was kind of cool. Okay, uh, Sky Ray attempted to shoot rays into the sky and marker light this guy, and it kind of helped, but I didn't do anything. Shot the smart missiles at it from the broadsides. Not much else going on there. Uh, the carbines from the Pathfinders shot at some infantry and at the Thunderwolf. No effect. Uh, the carbine fire warriors valiantly assaulted this ironclad dreadnought. Almost made it. Narrow margin. I rolled two ones on EMP grenades. I just couldn't get it, and he just stomped me flat. So you know, it happens. Uh, Mr. Riptide here, he's chilling, he fired at this guy and didn't do anything, what are you going to do about it? Uh, so that's basically it for there. Over here, still suits, as you can see, are gone, they got flattened finally by that squad. It's about to happen, but hey, they're still MVP, so that's awesome. So we're moving over here. Commander's still going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this squad, he hasn't taken any damage this turn, he killed one guy, so that's kind of cool. Combat stayed there. Barracuda came in. Shot all of its stuff, shot its load right into the side of this vehicle here and blew it up, so that's cool. We got piranhas came in over here, dumped their drones off. Both units fired, killing two marines over here, didn't pin them down. Drones kind of skidded up against the vehicle there, so that's kind of cool. Uh, these crew are still terrified, still running away, still squawking like crazy, they don't really know what's going on. Other squad of crew, however, came in and assaulted Thanks to the hounds, because they can move 12 inches off the board edge, and our cool special rule assaulted the uh, librarian that was standing there, and he took a whole bunch of wounds and died. Uh, the warlord. It was a warlord point. Yes. The crisis team here, deep strike, using uh, their uh, warlord treat, uh, no scatter deep strike. Uh, Shadow Sun attempted to fire at his warlord, missed. Crew handled that. That's fine. The rest of the shots went onto the vehicle and took it out. So, yeah, that looks like that's it for town turn three. We'll see you at the end of Space Marine turn four. So, it is the end of Battle Brothers turn four. Starting over here. Uh, what happened here? <laughs> um, okay, so Vindicator here, I was going to try to move it around, but there's actually no space between the building here and, and we the play with line. terrain rules. Yeah, we play with terrain rules, so I couldn't just drive through the church. Uh, so I just decided I'm going to keep him here, guarding this objective. Uh, whereas this Vindicator moved up this way, fired a shot over here which nailed a broadside right in the face and killed him. Failing uh, his cover. Yep, and uh, well, I guess uh, we'll cover this guy, these guys here, the Grey Hunters. Uh, they just decided to move into cover here and hopefully make it run for the objective next turn. Drop pods didn't move. <laughs> they really wanted to shoot at this broad, uh, riptide, so they did, but they didn't do anything because it's a riptide. <laughs> uh, these guys ran and got up in the building there, so they're all spread all over it. Spread it all over. Uh, my plane turned and headed towards this ways. I fired with it at the tractor that was here, blowing it up, rolling a six, and hitting literally every single crew Jason has. But Jay made some saves, so I killed six of them. Uh, I also took out a single crisis suit here in Jay's unit with Shadow Sun. Uh, uh, killed, you know, the one wound here, and then the explosion did the other. Literally everything here, all the grab cannons in the world, fired at Jay's Shadow Sun unit, but 2 plus cover is 2 plus cover. Fuck you, Jay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it for this area. What do you want to do there? Uh, I, I tank shocked this unit of crew that's still running away. <laughs> uh, and they, they ran, of course. Shake hot, boy, shake hot. Uh, uh, this. Rhino here, it just went flat out this way. Uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Rune Priest and the Grey Hunters, uh, he used uh, 
Dorm something? He used uh, Tempest Wrath, which immobilized one of the piranhas, and also fired bolters and stuff at them, but didn't do anything. And I fired Living Lightning at them, and they jinked, I believe, on all of them. Uh, this rhino here fired Storm Bolter at them as well, but did not do anything. Uh, combat with the commander here. <laughs> uh, this unit charged in at them, and the other unit was still fighting them, but he took his onager gauntlet and just punched me in the face. He just donkey punched me with the onager gauntlet. <laughs> and killed one guy, which caused both units to run away. And so now they're fleeing the objective and leaving the commander there to shoot at us as we flee. So that was nice. Um, meanwhile over here, uh, this Thunderwolf attacked the Sky Ray, but it did not do any damage. My Ironclad assaulted Jay's broadside and Ironcladded it. <laughs> uh, my Iron Priest, he had to attack the uh, Riptide. Riptide, but unfortunately with Initiative 1 and he got sh uh, wounded on the way in, so he ended up being killed. We're going to call the SPCA on that Riptide. <laughs> Hurting dogs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my one scout beat Jay's one... Uh, what was it called? Uh, gun drone? Gun drone. Gun drone. <laughs> and then triumphantly charged into those guys, but like, yeah, you know. But because the of the rules, he didn't actually. Yeah. So, I'll get them. Just not this turn. So yeah, I don't know. I think that's pretty much everything, eh? Cool. Yeah. So, see we'll see you at the end of turn Tau turn four. turn four. Yeah, that thing. We're at the end of Tau turn four. Okay, so, I'm gonna start here again. So I had almost the rest of my units of fire warriors come on, so one unit came on here. They rapid fired the Thunderwolf Cavalry that was here and killed him, so that was cool. That was pretty lucky. We've got that one scout. I just can't kill him. I fired some carbines at him from the Pathfinder unit and they just he's he's way cooler of a scout. He shot the bullets out of his air with his pistol, so it's cool. This unit of fire warriors. After let's see, last turn they took that out. This turn they attempted to assault this dreadnought. And give some, uh, you know, direct the overwatch from the flame on them instead of this unit. Kind of worked. He killed one unit of them. They didn't get to assault. Secondary unit of Fire Warriors here assaulted him. It was pretty close. They managed to get the last hull point. That was pretty cool. Uh, I think I also got some hull points for throwing EMP grenades at him. That was cool. Uh, these Carbine Pathfinders shot at him. Did nothing. He, he attempted to fight the Tetra wreck in my turn. Did nothing. Uh, this, yeah, we actually forgot to fight this combat, um, oh. yeah, <laughs> fuck it, we're doing it live, oh, yeah, we're doing it live, let's do it live, let's do it live, let's do it, nice boys, let's do it, this is, this is, uh, this the cover, is, uh, the cover slaves, this is new, alright, I'll use crack grenades, yeah, you go first, do it, this is a brand new, uh, no, I did, I did shit, your turn, okay, yeah, here we go, I'm dead, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, good? Right now. yeah, well, three sixes and a splatter yeah, three, yeah, yeah okay. Right, it's all eight, right. five inches, I'm gonna push him. The past has become the future! This is, uh, troops, eh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, Except it's not. Oh, are you lying to me it now? It still scores, though, so. So I'm gonna go here. Oh, well, there you go. And then take this But... <laughs> so, so and then you fall over and die. That's what we play. All right, All right cool. Keep going, so we did keep that going. Live. All right, cool. So that we're back in the past. We're so, back in the past. So that happened. Back in the you past. You didn't see it happen. That's right. That, that was future, so that was cool. Right? right? Yeah. All right. This guy right here attempted. He moved forward, snap fired with marker lights to help this the riptide attack that unit. It kind of worked. Over here, the commander after blasting one guy away with this fusion blaster, causing the last guy to flee over here to the street corner where he's selling his wares. Like a shady businessman. Now he jumps into the alleyway here, so he can roll his dice. Kiki. All right, and the Barracuda moved along here, uh, fired into this unit. I don't believe I killed anybody, but I saw the saves. <sighs> Moving along, let's go here. Crooked kind of hunkered down in the woods with the crisis suits firing. They cleared most of the guys out up here, leaving one. Moving over here, we get the crew that just rallied. They attempted to assist the drones, firing here. The drones uh, put quite a bit of hurt on these guys. I think killed two out of the four, didn't pin them. Piranha ditched his buddy, who was just immobilized there. He moved out here. He's still affected by the Tempest storm. He fired, didn't do anything. Uh, and lastly, if we come back over here, this 
Rhino got just eaten by EMP grenades when they came out for the assault. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. Uh, that is the rest of my turn. All done, so we'll see you at the end of Space Marine Turn 5. It is the end of Battle Brothers, Turn Alt five. Marines, and Space Wolves. Space Wolves. <laughs> Our last, I've had lots of drink. Our last turn. <laughs> I've had lots of drink. Uh, starting over here. Uh, take over, Ryder. Uh, okay, well, Vindicator here. Staying at the objective. Fired at the uh, Riptide here and missed completely. Taking out our own <laughs> drop pod. Yes, process. taking out our own drop pod in the process and costing us an objective. We and meant to do that, though. So yeah, so it was yeah. part of the plan. Period. Uh, <laughs> The uh, Vindicator over here, though, it fired at the commander, and uh, unfortunately, he saved it all with his invulnerable save. It was pretty ridiculous. Jason's a cheater, though. So. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> um, then you can take over. Okay, my my plane switched into hover mode and uh, moved here to fire at Jason's commander, and I think I did nothing. But it felt right. You got one wound, actually. Yeah, but that was right. Oh, it was from him. Right. Yeah. Grav Cannon. Grav Cannon backed up Mr. Plane here, who didn't really pull it off and put a wound in your commander, but he has one wound left. So fuck you, Jason. <laughs> uh uh, what else? Um uh, that that for there? over here, these guys. Yeah, these guys. Uh he moved a little bit and opened fire on the crut. I think he killed the crut? Put a, put Did he? Uh he fired it, didn't he fire them? Oh no, that's no no, they fired them, but but he I think he killed the crut. Anyway, they, they was that? killed two. Someone died warriors. over there. They killed three fire warriors. Yeah. Did they take the morale? Or no, no. If he passed it, he passed it. We only killed one fire warrior. He oh, passed okay. the saves. Okay. Uh, uh, here we fired at Jay's uh, piranha and caused him to jink, but didn't hurt him because Jay cheats. Oh. And uh, my rhinos <laughs> here blocked the path for the crew. The double which, tank shock. <laughs> which and the uh, crew. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the crew passed both tank shocks, but then they took casualties from uh, I think from my bolter here, which made them uh, fall back. And so now they're probably not going to be able to get the objective, because uh, even if they regroup this turn, they're not going to be able to get close enough to the objective. Uh, these guys in here, they're getting ready for when the commander comes in, and possibly these guys, uh, the fire, fire warriors as well. Uh, and uh, over here... The scout tried to charge a unit of uh, fire warriors, which were here, and he failed, failed his charge. He failed his charge. He needing three. four inches, but rolling three. Yeah, but luckily Thunderwolf was backing him up and just completely destroyed them. Um, and yeah, uh, things are looking pretty good right now, but uh, I guess we'll see. Jason, you have a chance, but you better take it. We'll mm -hmm. see you at the end of Tower Turn Five. Da -da -da. So this is the end of the final turn. This is Tau turn five. So let's sum it up here. So boom, we're gonna start over here. Uh, actually, you know what these guys are doing? What are they doing here? Okay. Uh, so we had uh, there was a vehicle here. Uh, there was a bunch of fire warriors and a uh, Thunderwolf cavalry here. So the idea was I had to get rid of the Thunderwolf cavalry or get the fire warriors over. I managed to do both somehow. I had to destroy the vehicle with all my fire warriors. The wreck. The wreck. Yes, the, the vehicle wreck. With all my fire warriors standing basically with their faces pressed up against it. It exploded. They, a couple died. It was for the greater good. The rest ran past into the building. I got the objective. Cool. All right, moving along. Uh, so it was the broadside that blew up the, the truck, worth noting. Uh, Skyray sat here, attempted to marker light the uh, aircraft, uh, which was his job. He had one job, but he didn't do it. Uh, but that's fine. Um, the Barracuda swung over and uh, was going to shoot at the Thunderwolf, but you know, it wasn't needed. Uh, the uh, Riptide, uh, standing here, he shot at the aircraft. I believe he did a hull point. Uh, the Commander shot, it jinked, he blocked it, uh, he assaulted it because it was in skimmer mode. And, and Donkey Punch. Boom! <laughs> Under your gauntlet that thing out of the sky. Cha Jam! Oh. Skadoosh that motherfucker. Alright, so. That's basically everything there. Moving over here, I managed to get a squad of fire warriors within three to contest that objective with a lucky run move. Over here, the crew continued running, weren't much use. Gun drones came over, attempted to fire at his, his uh, HQ, Rivers. his room piece. Didn't do anything, he passed the saves. 
Uh, the uh, the land speeder, sorry, the almost got the land speeder. The uh, piranha think? here, it actually, uh, I guess it's like winter for him. And there's like he's in a squall, so he got immobilized. He tried to move and just got stuck on the ground. Ran into the ground. Yeah, exactly. Too much snow. Uh, all right, so moving over here, ah, the crouch still hunkered down in there. Shadow Sun split off. Attempted to kill this guy. Roll a bunch of ones. Couldn't wound him. Uh, the command uh, and the two crisis suits attempted to fire at the rune priest over here. Couldn't do it. Just uh, missed. Didn't move past the cover save. That sort of thing. Uh, I think that's everything. Honestly, there's been a whole lot of kill in this game, and it's been a pretty tough one. So that is it. That is the end of the game. What's the final score? The final score is 12 for the Tau Empire, which is three objectives and all three secondaries, and then six for the Imperium of Man, which is two objectives. It was hard fought, but it was a Tau victory. Bam! What? What? <laughs> Just tell me. You're, you're supposed to say more. Oh, okay. <clears throat> we'll see you at the post-game show. Hi there. Welcome to the post-game show. What's up, bitches? Hi. I have, to, I, have to say, I have to say something, I guess. I'm Crabblesworth, and I'm with my dear friends Anubis and Nagalus Greatsword. Hey. So, you just watched us play uh, 3,000 points versus 3,000 points. Warhammer 40,000. Warhammer 40,000. It was a good game. It was a good game. Mm-hmm. Right back and forth. Very, very back and forth. It was tough, guys. Lots it's of tempo. I didn't even know who was going to win, like, literally until the very end. It's a good, it's a good thing with the five, turn five ending, because it's like one in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. I live like an hour from here. Oh, so. <laughs> you've got some driving to do, so you can't partake in this drinking, but I can. Mm -hmm. So That's we'll nice. start right off the bat. Jason, I would love to hear who your MVP was. So, I think you all know what my MVP was. Gordon? Uh, you know, it, I don't know if they affected the the entire scheme of the battle, but those stealth suits. Yeah. Those stealth suits were great. They just went above and beyond their mission. They, profile, they very which, much know how to fight somehow. I don't know how that works. They, well, um, and they made the, they got all their points back from the assault devs, right? Or the centurions or whatever? You know, yes, they did. They, 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 they sent like a 200 unit point unit back in. They did. Uh, well, was it them or was it the missile suits? That Everyone helped. It was but we'll just say it's things. them because <laughs> that's how you construct a narrative. <laughs> that's right. So, AKA lying. I don't, I don't even remember. So yeah, that was like six hours ago. So that was directed at Jervis, so we know he's watching. That's right. Fuck you, Jervis. <laughs> so uh, okay, that was your MVP. Yeah. What was your epic fail? Epic fail. Probably the Sky Ray. I mean, I'm not incredibly surprised. I mean, it was okay. It, it was okay in that it was a vehicle that was just blocking the way and it did, did some stuff, but it didn't really do a whole lot, really. At that bottom girls <laughs> make the rock and roll go <laughs> around. It is nice to look at. It's, it was cool. It shot yeah. some rays into the sky. And it had magnets. Yeah. Uh, you know. It had mar marker lights. Yeah. I, it helped a couple times. But what? Uh, assuming the same context, same battlefield, same list, what would you have done differently? I, prob anything? I probably would have just taken another ion cannon hammerhead. Yeah. Uh, you know, same same difference. It's like slight. It's like five points more expensive, but it's another blast. It's another, That's true. You know, it's another battle cannon That's blast. True. You know, it's another trying seven AP three shots. And Very true. Andrew, MVP. Uh, Thunderwolves. Yeah, naturally. <laughs> I played Space which, Wolves. Which unit? <laughs> used Thunderwolves, so Thunderwolves. Uh, uh, the uh, obvious answer for the MVP would yeah. be the big yeah. one with all the with the Iron Priests in it and everything. So the Iron Priest helped us very they, much. They, early in the game, it kind of looked like we were, in a, we were in a really good position at the start of the game, and I think yeah. they were a big part of that. They soaked up a lot oh of God. fire. Mm -hmm. I got some luck from that too because he was. We've we already reported the SPCA, so. Yeah, well, one of his riptides failed, which uh, I came in a whole yeah. bunch of times. So that kind of helped me, but at the same time, they soaked up a lot of fire. Yeah. And, yeah. What was your epic fail then? Thunderwolves. The dichotomy. Yeah, no, yeah. They, they were definitely my best unit, but I had two cripplingly bad. Uh, turns involving Thunderwolves. First being uh, in this area, I lost two Thunderwolves to uh, so, uh, someone's fire. Anyway, I shouldn't. I should, really shouldn't have lost them. Uh, Ironhead. It was the Iron Ironhead. Killed two guys with its two jig shots. 
And, I avenged it. Though. And then uh, Fire Warriors and Pathfinders killed another guy. Just took stripped two wounds straight off of it, yeah. and that was pretty ridiculous. That's and then, missiles, man. and yeah. then my other unit of Thunderwolves did not really get to do anything in this game, and that really hurt me Cut uh, because I lost two. I, I lost four wounds off of them from it. Is a fire. That's ridiculous. Tower game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but other than and that, I mean that as a joke about them being lame because gay would mean happy and terrible. Yeah, but uh, anyway, but yeah. No, aside from those two really terrible moments of bad luck, actually, pretty pretty yeah. decent to average luck for most of the games. It is so. funny how like a similar unit is both the MVP and Epic Fam. Yeah, Crab I mean, everyone, everyone else did their job. My my commander, my room priest, did okay. He didn't get a lot of opportunity, yeah. but he he did. Pretty well for a librarian. For me, I hate librarians usually. Room priest. Room priest. You know. Scrapples. What was there. your MVP? I well, think we wipe our ass that. with the uh, Codex of Star Days. My MVP. Let me tell you, was my Ironclad Dreadnought. Oh hell yeah! It didn't give a fuck. Honorable yeah. mention to Scout. It was just honey badgering its way through this mess yeah. of smelly fish people and barbarians. They were like cow people, but yeah. closer. They have hooves. But yeah, yeah. It, it just like. Wreck faced your one riptide. <laughs> just, just like knee in the face. It was for the great. Then broadside and just <laughs> yeah. fucking did not give a shit. So. Oh, yeah. oh, and, and the, the crisis suit. And all the shooting so. it took too. Yeah, so it was just, just unquestionably the MVP. It almost survived the game. And took a horde of fire warriors oh, throwing man. EMP grenades at this thing. I am just gonna lather him in semen. <laughs> <laughs> As for my epic fail, uh. That's not quite as easy to determine. Oh wait, yes, it is. Dev Centurions, or Assault Centurions. They they had one leadership to make after losing one of their three guys and rolled box cards and just fucking ran off the board. So that was upsetting.